Hey, how's it going? It's Sam Frost here from Easy PPC Tutorials. In today's short video, I wanted to discuss which objective you should pick when setting up a new campaign in Google Ads. So you've probably noticed by now when you go to create a new campaign, Google prompts you with this choose your objective uh, step in the campaign setup process. So you can select an objective to tailor your experience to the goals and settings that work best for your campaign, according to Google, and you can pick what you're trying to achieve. And the idea here is you're supposed to look at this list and say, right, well, my goal here is to get um, more sales of my products. And so Google will then jump you to the next step with a sort of like a campaign setup option that's almost picked for you. And so, you know, if you pick a uh, product and brand consideration, for example, you can see here that Google's actually telling you that what you really want to do is use YouTube, so video ads to get more viewers and to basically get your brand out there. Or if you want to uh, get brand awareness and reach, you could pick either display or video. Now, my recommendation here is that you don't pick any of these first uh, options. You always should pick the last one. Create a campaign without a goals guidance. Back in the day, this was called the no, no goal setting, I believe it was. When you pick sales or leads or website traffic or app promotion or any of these kind of things, all that happens is Google strips back some of the campaign options you can pick in this next step where you select a campaign type. What, what you pick here isn't going to change the performance of your campaign. All this does is streamlines the setup process to try and take, uh, I guess, some decision-making steps out of it. So Google's view, in effect, is that this last option here is really the more advanced one. And if you don't know what the different campaign types mean, and I'll do some more videos on this in the future, uh, maybe they think you're going to get overwhelmed. What they want is to try and push you down the path of saying, OK, well, because you want to get leads, the best thing you can do is have a uh, search campaign that's set up to generate lead form submits, for example. Or if you've got uh, a goal of getting local store visits, the new campaign type is a performance max campaign. That's what you should be running um, because the old uh, sort of locally focused campaign type local campaigns is gone. So basically at this step, my recommendation is you always jump here to create a campaign without goals guidance, and then you can pick the campaign type you want. This isn't gonna leave anything on the table in terms of optimizations of the campaign. All you're doing is giving yourself the opportunity to pick what you really want. And then you can say, right, well, my goal is to capture people who are searching for a particular product or service. Well, in that case, search makes sense. Or if they're looking for um, e-commerce product, maybe shopping is what really makes sense. Or on the other hand, maybe you want to do uh, a YouTube video campaign. So I can pick that and I can pick all of the different uh, campaign subtypes and so on. So when you pick this objective up here, if you select one of these first um, seven objectives as they're currently set up at the moment, as opposed to creating a campaign without a goals guidance, you're not going to get more sales or better app promotion or greater brand awareness and reach. You're just giving Google permission basically to minimize the amount of options they give you. And unless you really want to just go down the simplest possible path and have Google hold the hand, in which case you're probably better off just using a um, simple mode Google Ads account where, or a smart mode account where it's just a very simplified setup process, you're better to actually pick this last option and then pick what you really want to have happen and go from there. So if you've got any questions on this, please do let me know. Otherwise, my view is always just to pick this last option, pick the campaign type that makes most sense for you, and then go through the full setup process. You're not leaving anything on the table and you're giving yourself all of the options through the setup process. It's going to allow you to create a campaign that's better configured to your needs, to your budget, and to deliver the objectives that you want. Thank you for watching. Please like this video if you found it helpful. Leave a comment if you've got any questions and subscribe for more free Google Ads advice.